Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new tuning in, my name is Danielle and thanks for watching my video. So I decided to do a mixed girl tag because I see that it's very common for mixed girls to do that. So I see it applies to me and I thought why not share my story. So the first question is what are you mixed with? I'm mixed with Chinese, Black, and on my Black side of the family they have Irish, Dutch, and Native American Cherokee in them. The second question, what do you get mistaken for? I've gotten everything across the board, including like Hawaiian. Yeah, I don't even know why people ask me that. Hawaiian, I've gotten Puerto Rican. I've got, I've always get like mixed with black, but I've always gotten some type of Asian now. But basically anything. My next question is, was coming from different backgrounds hard? Not to me, because I lived in a very diverse area growing up, so a lot of different ethnicities were um, at my schools, and I always was friends with them, and all my friends were pretty diverse or mixed with something, so everyone was pretty used to that. So it wasn't hard for me. Um, question number four, which background do you relate to most? I would say my Chinese side because my mom is Chinese and she raised me. So I definitely would relate to them a lot more, but I always had black friends and right now my boyfriend is black. So I'm getting more used to like the black culture and, you know, like family traditions and stuff that they do. So I am comfortable with both, but obviously if I would have to choose one that I'm most comfortable with, it would be obviously my Chinese side. Have you ever been teased for being mixed? No, I would have to say I've never been bullied. I've been like made fun of like jokingly, like, oh, you're mixed or you mixed. Like, I don't even know, but they like jokingly like made fun of me, but I never took offense to it, but I do remember this one girl in my middle school class told me that I was not, that I don't count as an African-American woman. And at the time, I really didn't know how to respond to that because, you know, you're really young and, you know, you're still figuring yourself out and like different cultures. So I just didn't say anything. But thinking back now, she obviously was wrong. So, I mean, there are people like that out there, but just don't let it get to you. My next question is, have you ever been ashamed for being mixed? No. When I was younger, like toddler, maybe to like age seven or eight, I always wanted straight hair, but that was only because, I don't know if you guys remember in the 90s, L'Oreal had really cool commercials for their shampoo, their kids shampoo. Their shampoo bottles would be shaped of fish and the smells would be so fruity. And I just wanted to use that on my hair. Back in the 90s, they didn't have as much mixed, like, curly black hair products. So, you know, the L'Oreal products seemed so fun and so just enjoyable. And the commercials were so happy. So I always wanted my hair straight just for that reason. I never was ashamed of being who I was. And my last question. Are there benefits to being mixed? Now, I wouldn't say there's like benefits as in like other cultures and races and ethnicities don't have benefits, but I will say coming from multiple backgrounds has given me an open mind and an open palate, meaning I'm willing to try so many different foods out there and I grew up that way. I know a lot of my friends who come from just one culture, they eat like the same stuff like every week and I don't know how they can do that, but they're just now like in their 20s, like branching out and trying different food. And that's like something I've been eating since I was little, like sushi, for example. I love sushi. And I it's like annoying that I have to get like some of my friends to like open up their palate and try sushi and pho, banh mi, and just all these different Asian dishes that they, they never got a chance to really, you know, try. So I would say a benefit of being mixed, mixed is coming from different backgrounds and different cultures 
and it keeps you having an open mind about things. Well, thanks for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed my mixed girl tag. Please like and subscribe.